All right, so we got the raft hood open. I got all the sizes and things ready to go, prepared. So I don't have to dig through all that stuff while I'm doing it. So for today's video, we are going to uh, change oil in the RAV4. I don't think I'm gonna do a long video like I did on the Celica. Um, I'm just gonna go through really quickly, probably do a quick time lapse. I personally find it kind of not as fun doing these kind of small maintenance on cars. I mean, content is content, but I want to do more fun mods. So I have a few small things coming in for the RAV4 just to get it slightly personalized. Um, it is my daily car, so I'm gonna be in it for the most part and the Celica. Today though, I do need to change the oil on the RAV. Um, I haven't done that. I haven't done that since I bought the car. So I am going to have, so I have to make sure everything's up to date and make sure I know when it was last done. I'm sending it, I'm sending it back to the shop. Again, just to get the transmission checked. I think it does need a new clutch. Um, going into first gear is kind of hard. Uh, I mean, it is quite hard actually, not just kind of hard, I have to push it in. Um, so that's not a good sign. But anyways, Transmission work is not something, um, I don't know anything about it. I've never done anything on transmission before, so I'm gonna leave it to the shop. Um, but all the fun mods that I mentioned that I have coming up, very cheap eBay mod that I find more fun uh, installing than doing these maintenance videos. But anyways, yeah, that's what's gonna happen today. Anyways, enough wasting time. Let's Get started on the RAV4. It's been cooling down for a few minutes now, probably about 10 15 minutes now. Um, I already got everything prepared, but yeah. All right, got the oil drain. The oil filter is still in there, and the reason it's still in there is because the design is actually on top. So if I take it out real fast, it's just gonna drip down everywhere that's why when you see these cars the transmission down there tends to be all black from the oil but that's because people are pulling out too quickly and well of course i've never done this before but i figured it'd be better to just loosen it give it some air because you know when you open a can like when you open a can of condensed milk for example when you use the uh, the beer the beer bottle opener with a little pointy end you poke one hole so when it comes out it doesn't come out as much but when you poke another hole on the other end of the top uh, it comes out a little bit more because there's more air going inside giving it a little bit more i don't know how the science works but it just works it's dripping a little bit more it was dripping a lot more so once it's all fully drained because it stopped dripping from the pan already and then once i loosen the oil filter it drips down some more that way we keep the top of the engine as you know, not as dirty, but not any more dirty, I should say. And just like that, the new oil filter is in. I think it's a tiny bit of um, oil drip down, but it's not as bad. I already wiped as much as I can. At least with the way I did it, it won't drip down all the way, like all over the transmission. And I'm pretty sure that's what happened. That's why it's all black. And of course, eventually, if there's like a single drop or half a drop left that drips down, not a big deal. But at least that way it stays clean or like i said at least it's not going to get any more dirty and i already got the oil drain plugged up what's really nice about working this car honestly because i don't even have to jack it up at all jacking up the car is like one of the most nerve-wracking thing to do for me because of how low the car is um i don't know if they're i don't know if my jack stand can like collapse one day I don't think so. There was a jack stand recall, but not the one I have, which is good. And my parents' driveway is kind of kind of a slight hill-ish, typical driveway, you know. But yeah, I don't have to jack up this car at all. Like my body is like just flat enough to get under there with enough room to work on. So, and it's all right there. This is this is great. And another cool thing is is that because I loosened the oil filter a little bit letting the oil drain 
to continue to drip more because it all goes down there once you give it a little air on the other end literally i can just leave the bucket where it is and it'll just drip down and then i just gotta use a paper towel or something just wipe off the excess oil that might have come off from the top uh from whatever's left on the oil filter but yeah no this is already done versus the mrs and the celica for example i have to drain the plug and from the filter which is two different spots next to each other so it's not bad or anything but i have to open two and let all drain out this thing losing up the oil filter all comes down one hole and it only takes like less than 10 minutes Ooh. okay i'm very careless of me i poured the oil in a little too fast and because of how the engine is a little tilted freaking this thing did you see how this thing right there like it blocks halfway so it fills up and then it pours out towards the back and you can probably see there's some wet spot down there i wipe as much as i can already i have to do a little bit more later but it was dripping down here so i have to put the bucket back so yeah just pour it in slowly next time I am currently back at my parents' house because they're all in Vietnam right now and pretty much once a week I have to come back here, check the mail, make sure none of the food is going bad and eat it if I'm hungry. We are going to install window visors on the RAV4. So I got all four window from eBay. I don't remember the brand, I apologize. Um, I can already tell you this, as soon as I open it, I think I might have bought the wrong one because I know I want it to be a little dark but I want to see through but I don't think this is actually see-through I think it's, this is like straight up solid black piece so pretty much if I were to put this on the window because if you look outside if I were to install this and it's a solid black, I can't see through it. It's gonna give that effect of being the A-pillar, like a really thick A-pillar. I hope it's not gonna be too bad. I mean, the um, I mean from here is kind of thick-ish, it's not too bad, but from down here though, which is where the front is, it gets a little thinner, it tapers in. So I hope it doesn't be too thick. I am too lazy to wait for her to get new parts and I don't want to spend any more extra money. I don't want to wait to return this as well, so I'm, I am going to install this. But unfortunately, this is like a solid black piece. Let me open it real quick. Uh, yeah, straight up solid black piece. I can even see my reflection. It's not see-through see at all. So, shit. But you know what? Forget it, who cares? Maybe this will give the effect of um, the window is a little bit smaller. So it looks more sportier from inside. I don't know. I'm just trying to make myself feel better, but we're going to go ahead and install these again. I don't do DIY. I'm just doing it for fun for myself. So don't take my video as a DIY and recommendation or anything like that. I don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. I have seen some YouTube videos on how to do it. So I'm just going to do it myself and I'm just going to have fun with it. So take the way I do it with a grain of salt, I think I know how to do it. I've seen a few videos on YouTube. Uh, we'll see. So one thing that I noticed real quick is that the fit and finish is not the best. I'm trying to do this, I'm trying to do this with one hand. So if I line up this right here. You can see that it doesn't really go on top of the window. But you can still see the line right there. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't think that's the most important part because it's all black and it blends in. And then it just drops down here. So right there. But then that's gonna have to be dropped down, so. I hope once I install the back, it's not going to impede or hit that thing. So yeah, it's kind of weird. I'm trying to figure out how to do this while filming as well. Let me see if I can find something that can hold the phone. 
Okay, so I got all four piece laid out on top of the MRS. And now that we know the fit and finish is not perfect, my expectation was never high. I mean, when you're buying parts like these, like cheap mods that are from eBay, from a random seller, never expect high because I just want to have fun doing it. it. It seems like it would probably do what it's meant to do. And any imperfection, I don't really care as long as I have fun doing it, as long as that it does what it's supposed to do. And my expectation is low, I can't be disappointed. So yeah, I mean, I already got the wrong part. There's a solid black and I want it to be dark but see-through at least, so I can see out, but whatever, it's fine. No biggie. Let's see if I can get a little creative with this. Yeah, can't tell. Probably not the best angle, but I think it'll work. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I think it'll work. So the first step that you want to do is to wipe down all surface that you are going to attach the visor in. Pretty much everything that the 3M part will touch and line up everything make sure all the fit and finish is correct bend it if you need to and yeah that happened saying once you wipe down all of the um, the surface that the 3m tape will touch line everything up front window and back window and make sure you know exactly where you want to place it um, because there are some kind of fit and finish um, imperfection for example you want to see if you can like try to slightly bend it so that but not only that it will fit correctly but then you want it to bend enough um, just so that the 3m tape will still line up and go into the door correctly and properly so that nothing will easily come out and once you're ready to peel off the red sticky cover from the 3M tape make sure you peel it outwards and make sure you give yourself enough room to grab with your fingers um, sometimes people do a little too short and they have a hard time peeling it off so give it just enough room once you're peeling it out so that you can pull out an all in one motion um, I had difficulties because I don't have any fingernails and you can see right here I have a you know hard time just to get that corner off from the other pieces because there were more than one 3M tape that was attached to each piece. Uh caca caca cricket cricket <laughs> uh, anyways um as you can see, I'm ready to uh, put it on the door and you want to peel off the corner first. Like the, both ends, you want to peel off where it next to the side mirrors and the back of the front window. So once you get that placement correctly, then you can peel off the very top, which is the from left to right or whatever. Uh, yeah, make sure you want to have that placement um, exactly where it should be first. Alright, so I got a thing lined up. I hope it doesn't really... 
I hope it doesn't have an issue with opening or closing the door. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're good. So I already peel off this bottom section. So as you're peeling it, push slowly in. So it stays. So now we're gonna peel that. So once you have the uh, the red 3M tape thing on the outward, so you can pull off that way. So as you're doing it, you see your other hand. So I'm about to put the camera down. Use the other hand and slowly push it through. Right now it's not on all the way because I still have to pull from that side all the way up. Same thing. So yeah, I think I cover as much as I can. Definitely you don't want it to be fully high because if you close the door, it's gonna slam right to the top of the, uh, the car. But I think this is okay where it should be. Since I already lined up the back piece, the back piece will look like that. So fully lined up. And once the door opens, it will pull out like that. Once it closed, yeah, I think it should be good right there. Nice and hot. <sighs> okay, two are in. Right side is done. Make sure you double check see everything's lined up. Looks good to me. Don't have to be perfect. As long as it's like nicely lined up, then I think you're good. Open the door. Close it. Make sure nothing is hitting anything. You know. Tap it a few times. It's good to do this on a dry day. I was actually gonna do this tomorrow because I'm kind of lazy, but then like tomorrow's gonna rain and I tell myself you need to stop procrastinating and get it done with. So yeah, after today, hopefully it will be nice and dry and sticks. The only issue I have right is right here. There is no 3M tape back there. So yeah, it kind of sticks out like that, but is it really that big of a deal? No. Do I want it to be a little more perfected? Yeah, but again, eBay stuff. I can't expect too much. Low expectation, low disappointment, right? Yeah, looks good. All doors open and close without any issue. It's not too big like I've seen some 
piece that are like way down here. I don't need to be that low. But I don't want it to be too short either where it's only like an inch down. I think this is the perfect length. Yeah. I forgot to bring my tripod. Well, more like my DJI little three, three um, small little tripod phone holder. But I will still have to have something to make it a little higher. But my parents' house, we have like extra piece of brick. So I just use these two to hold it and pretty much just place my phone right here on the edge. Just to get this angle. Hopefully it stays. So this side, a little bit of fitment issue. So if I were to line this up perfectly right there, and as you can see, it will probably hit that. So what I'm gonna have to do, because it's plastic, I'm gonna have to pretty much use both my hand and force bent it a little bit not too much just so here's an example I need to be here's an example I need it to be right here right if it sticks out a little bit like that it should be fine but earlier it was like out here and once the door once the back door closes it's likely hitting that bottom corner so that's a little dangerous it's, if it's hitting it will eventually peel off so I need to be back here a little bit. So, keep my hand there. Well, somewhat use the other hand to bend it up and then slowly push it in as I'm peeling the tape. So, that's the only way for it to fit a little better. Other than that, I can't really shape off anymore because the 3M tape is already pretty close to the edge so no shaving no cutting just a little bending still kind of stick out a little too far but it's not hitting so I don't hear any sound of it hitting it's 
very close though. But I did have to like push it inward so this thing can go up a little higher. And yeah, the corner gap for this side though seems a little bit better than that one. So my, maybe I should have do the same thing for the other side, but oh well. Seems pretty solid. Yeah, that's good. It ain't going nowhere. So with this back piece, if I were to... Let's say if I were to do it right there. cannot have it touch but maybe a little closer that way this thing is not sticking out too far like that yeah I think it should be fine <laughs> that was sketch. I guess I could have pushed this out a little further, like how I planned it, but I was focusing more on this side. I totally forgot about this side, but it's okay. It's not hitting. It's not as straight as I want it to be, but it's close enough. Quite flush right there. Dangerously flush. Yeah, looks good. Double check everything one last time. Nice and solid. It was hard to wipe down the uh, door earlier because this side has been getting the sun. Any kind of wipe I get I just dry right off. Yeah, I, just, I haven't washed the car yet so. I feel like I should have done that before I do this. But, I mean, this is the right side again, and it's not as flush as the other side, but I was focusing on the clearance. But, oh well. It's the first time doing it. I think it's actually not bad. Not perfect, but not bad. I say I give myself a solid 8. This side, <laughs> this side is even more perfect. I mean this side has some fitment issues to begin with, but I managed to get it done. So yeah, I, I give myself a solid 8 out of 10 guys. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment below. Here's the RAV4 from far away with the wind shield or window visor. View from my side, I mean, you see what I mean, right? Because of solid black, it's not see through. It looks like a solid, like a thicker A pillar, but it's not terrible though. I mean, it kind of tapered down from that angle so I can still kind of see out. But because it looks thicker, it makes the window like a tiny bit smaller. <sighs> Sorry, it's hot. Yeah. I should really get the car detailed. I did not shim the seat, it's already brown. I just don't care, I just sat on it. Oh my god. I thought I heard something, <laughs> got hit. Oh, let's try that again. Jeez, that sounds scary. I hope it's not actually hitting. Oh shit, you know what, it is hitting. It is hitting actually, a little bit. But it's not the tube, but it's not the visor that's hitting, it's just this solid, or um, 
the seal thing right here that's sticking out and hitting it. And then push it in. Is that bad? No. I mean, it's... Okay. Maybe it's not terrible because it's soft and it's hitting it inward, not outward, so I don't think it's gonna ruin it, but man, I, I don't like to hear that sound. Oh well, if it comes off, it comes off. I don't care. I'll just get another one and redo it. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Did I do a good job? Clearly not. Anyways. <sighs> Hot as fuck, I'm getting sunburned. Whew. Ow. Let me know what you guys think. Did you like the insulation? Did it help? Did I somehow show you how to do it ish? Or rather, I know I show you how to not do certain things. Definitely check up on the certain details, like what you saw earlier. The the rubber seal was hitting that piece, and I didn't even know it could do that because it's already inside. But those are the kind of things that you have to double check on. And sometimes if you've never done it before, you make that mistake in order to learn something like I did just now. So yeah, hope you guys like the video. Comment below if you like it or comment below if you think I should have done something that I missed. I'd like to learn from you. Otherwise, subscribe if you haven't already. Click a thumbs up and I'll see y'all next time.